The human gastrointestinal tract, also known as the GI tract, is vast in surface area to maximize the absorption of nutrients. Most of the body's immune cells are contained in the GI tract, making it one of the largest immune organs in the human body. One important subset of immune cells is known as the CD4 T cells. These are T helper cells that provide protection to the gut against invasive bacteria or naturally occurring gut flora. HIV is a retrovirus that causes fatal immune deficiency and needs to infect human cells for its own replication. In the body, HIV preferentially infects activated CD4 T cells. This is because HIV must bind to CD4 to gain entrance into the cell, as well as to a co-receptor called CCR5 that is expressed in activated T cells. Due to bacteria normally found in the gut, the vast number of gastrointestinal CD4 T cells are constantly activated, making them especially susceptible to HIV infection. Due to the high level of CCR5 expression on the surface, approximately two thirds of the CD4 T cells in the gut are immediately lost within weeks of initial HIV infection. Compared to the peripheral blood, which contains only a fraction of the body's total T cells, the initial loss of CD4 T cells in the gut is far more profound. With so many T cells lost during early HIV infection, the normal barrier formed by the gut lining is severely compromised, allowing gut bacteria to cross the gut lining into the bloodstream in a process known as bacterial translocation. Bacterial translocation leads to immune activation in the body, and this inflammation can be damaging to the immune system in the long term, causing both heart and neurological diseases. Immune activation also makes remaining T cells even more prone to HIV destruction. Today's HIV treatment known as antiretroviral therapy, or ART, is recommended to patients before CD4 counts drop dangerously low or when AIDS-defining illnesses occur. In the peripheral blood, ART can reduce viral load to undetectable levels and often restores normal blood CD4 counts. However, its effect on gut CD4 T cells is much more delayed and incomplete. Reconstitution of gut CD4 T cells may take many years. This may be one reason why heart and neurological diseases remain a problem for HIV-infected individuals, despite antiretroviral therapy. HIV's damage to the GI tract is immediate and severe. Current and future research in HIV treatment will help us find better ways by which damage to gastrointestinal immunology can be reversed.